La langue française est insupportable. Bonjour mon ami, so welcome to another episode of The One Max Show. My name is Max and today I'm going to complain about the French language. Why? Because it sucks! I've been living in France for about three months now and I'm trying to learn the language but it's... Uh, I'm on the edge of giving up. There's just too many things that don't make any sense. Yeah, let's just... Uh, let's see some examples. Yeah, I can give you a hundred examples, but I'm just gonna give you one because we've all seen the viral TikTok videos, right? If you want to see more, just Google it and you'll find it instantly. There can mean glass, green, towards, to pour, or worm. A green worm pours a glass towards a glass maker around 8 o'clock. Ver, 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 down, ver, 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 or something like that. Now, of course, most of these are actually different words. They are spelled in a different way. Ver, ver, and ver. Which leads to the next horrible thing in French. You don't actually pronounce half of the letters in the words. The women have breakfast. In French, that is this. Now, think about how you would pronounce that. Okay, so how do you say the women are having breakfast in French? Um, les femmes prennent le petit déjeuner. No, no, that's wrong. Come on, I know you have a better French accent. Right. Les femmes prennent le petit déjeuner. No, 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 no. no. Les femmes prennent le petit déjeuner. Also, petit means little and déjeuner or déjeuner, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, means lunch. So breakfast is little lunch. <laughs> Hi guys, quick interruption of the video. I am trying to become better at this whole YouTube thing and get more serious and make better videos and make more videos. But it's very difficult to get your channel to grow in 2020 since half of the planet is making videos. So if you could do me a favor, please subscribe, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, all that stuff. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And yeah, it will cost you 10 seconds and it will help me out a lot. So uh, thanks. Let's continue the video. French uses a lot of accents and other stuff on top of the letters. Now, sometimes it makes sense. For example, the accent aigu or the accent grave. It shows how to pronounce a letter, like is it A or is it A? Okay, I get it. However, some of them, why are they there? The accent circonflex, which is the little thing on top of a letter in même, in hotel, in hôpital, in le dîner. Why? Why the little roof? Is it raining there? And why is there an H in hotel and hôpital if you don't use them anyway? And then there is this thing, which is called, I believe, a cédille. No idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, they use it in words like français, garçon, and ça. Why? Because I guess otherwise they forget it's an S sound. Uh, Max, uh, what did you write here? Le garçon franquet? So you're telling me that they know every word by heart if it comes to whether it's feminine or masculine. But then when they forget to give the C a little turd that's dropping out of his ass, they forget how to pronounce the words. Right. Ah, uh, guys, last week we learned how to count to 20, and today I am going to teach you how to count to 100. Okay? You, start from 18. Okay, um... 18, 19, 20, 21... No, 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 no. Vent et on. So, 20 and 1. Oui. Why? Uh, because we want to be different. <laughs> Continue. Alright. Um, vent et 1. Vent et 2. No, no, no. no. Vent 2. But you said only for the first one. Vent et 1. 30 et 1. 40 et 1. And so on. Right. Okay. One minute and 37 seconds later. 68, 69, um, 70. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
70. 60, 10? Yes, of course. 70, 70 et 1. No, no, no. 71. Oh, fuff. Sure. 71. 71. 72. No. No. 72. Okay. 72, 73, 14, 15, 16, 77. Very good, very good, oui, oui. Alright, alright, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. 78, 79, 70. <laughs> no, 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 are you crazy? Of course not. 80. 80. 420. Right, okay, 80. Et en 82, bla bla. What, what, what's 90, man? Just tell me, what is 90? 330? No, you silly goose. It's 90. Right, right. 42010 makes so much sense. 99 is what? 99? Yep, you got it. Very good. Oui, oui. Ok. 100. Just tell me, 420010, what, what is it? 100. Okay, I'm out. I am is je suis. I have is j'ai. And that can lead to a lot of embarrassing situations. For example, I am hot. Which I actually am. Like in 95% of my videos. I think I must be the sweatiest guy on YouTube. Fucking... Oh, 46 degrees in here. So anyway, hot is chaud. So you would think, je suis chaud. Mm -mm -mm. And thank God I figured this out before I actually said it somewhere because that would mean that I'm horny. Instead, it is je chaud. I have hot. Hey French, get fucked. Same with excited, by the way. If you say in English, I'm excited to meet you and you would translate that literally in French, then you're basically telling someone that you are horny to meet them. Bese means to lower, but bese means to fuck. Sounds the same to me, but okay. J'aime bonbons means I really like candy, but j'aime la voisine means I love the neighbor. Beaucoup is a lot, but beaucoup means nice ass. Elle est bonne is fine when you're talking about food or whatever, then it just means that it's good. But if you say elle est bonne about a girl, then it means you want to fuck her. And talking about fuck, that is the word for seal in French. <laughs> Look at this little fuck. What a cute little fuck. French sayings, they don't make any sense. What can I say? Let me just give you three examples. Il me court sur le haricot. He's running on my bean. Which means, he is annoying, he's getting on my nerves, which of course makes sense because, you know, people are running on my bean all the time and it's really annoying. Stop doing that, stop running on my bean, man. Être rond comme un qui que que de pelle. I don't know. Être rond comme un que de pelle, que de pelle, whatever. To be round as a shovel handle. And that means that someone is very, very drunk because shovels, are the handle, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. En faire tout un fromage. To make a whole cheese. Which means making a big deal out of something. The equivalent in English would be to make a mountain out of a molehill. I'm not sure why cheese was the best metaphor you guys could find, but okay, this one, I kind of get it. It makes sense in a way. Okay, so yeah, as if French wasn't hard enough as it is, they decided to make it even more difficult and I'm not sure who started this or when it started, but I feel like it's sort of a slang for young people. But because they're lazy and they didn't actually want to come up with new words, they were just like, you know what? Let's just say shit backwards. He is crazy. Usually it is il est fou, but now it is il est ouf. Which is funny because it looks like uff, which is egg. By the way, what's with all the vowels, huh? Uff, O, E, U, F. Get rid of two letters then. Same with lo and bureau, bo, y, y, a, a, u. Instead of just an O. I swear to God, at this point, you're just fucking with foreigners. So it 
sweatiest guy on YouTube. I think I'm gonna make another channel and call it the sweatiest guy on YouTube. Jesus Christ, probably exists already, everything exists already. Anyway, il est ouf. Now in this case, it's a short word and they just reverse it, but it gets even more complicated. Because if it's a longer word, then they cut the word in half and put the last half before the first half. Because, of course, that makes a lot of sense. Dog, champ, now becomes yench or something. Bourg, drunk, becomes rebou. And to walk, marcher, is now schémar. In English, we say the and a for everything. The house, a man, the woman, a bureaucratic disaster of a country somewhere in Western Europe called France. But in French, every word is either masculine, le and en, or feminine, la or une. And as a foreigner, you don't ever know when to use what. Especially because even the ones that you think are obvious are not. The penis, la bite, a vagina, un vagin, the boob, le sang, or sang, or whatever, I don't speak French, and a bra, un soutien, soutien, Gorge. I don't know, Suchon Gorge, but I do know what it means, and if you translate it literally, it's support throat. I didn't know French titties were up that high. That's a weird name, I would say, but okay. Anyway, yeah, it's annoying, and the French make fun of you when you say something wrong. Je voudrais un baguette, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> un baguette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real funny bro. Une baguette. How many languages do you speak? Anyway, a little story. My French teacher in high school, he was awesome. Shout out Meneer Zarouni. He was Moroccan and he didn't speak Dutch fluently or, well, he did, but not perfectly. That's a better way of putting it. In Dutch, we also have different words for de, which are de and het. Huh, so why are you making fun of our language when your language does the same, huh? Well, actually, to be quite honest, they say Dutch is the Chinese of Europe and it sucks even worse. I'm not denying that at all, but don't distract me. We're making fun of you now. So anyway, as I was saying, my French teacher didn't speak perfect Dutch and he got confused with the and het all the time. For example, where it should be the house, het house, he would say the house. So this one day we got a test, right? And I got it back and I got an 8 or something. Now, I knew that I did the vocabulary right because I memorized it. However, I didn't memorize if the words were male or female. So I just guessed. So at first I was like, damn, I guessed good. But then I looked at the paper and I saw that he actually did mark my mistakes with red ink. Now, I got an 8. So I was like, I'm not saying anything, but of course, there is always this one snitch-ass nerd in your class, right? We've all had one. Excuse me, sir, how come I have an A when I made two gender mistakes? And he just went, well, I don't know the and het in Dutch, so I don't care if you do la or le or un or une in French. If I understand what you're talking about, it's all good. Fuck <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Zaroni, legend. Okay, yeah, short one, because I don't speak French and I don't really have a lot of examples and I'm not sure why they do this, but uh, yeah, uh, nous nous reverrons, for example. We will see each other again. They often use sentences like this where they say nous nous something or vous vous something and I don't understand what's the purpose of saying the word twice. Now I get what it says, like I said, nous nous reverrons is we will see each other, but I don't get why it's the same word. In English, it's we and each other. And then also, why not put it at the end of the sentence, nous rêverons nous, or, you know, nous nous, and vous vous. It just sounds weird to me, but that's my opinion. Yeah, so we already touched upon this subject when I was talking about the feminine and the masculine words, but it doesn't stop there. In English, I have, you have, we have, they have. In French, I don't even know, but they're all different. J'ai, tu as, elle a, written differently than tu as, of course. Vous avez, and vous, of course, being the 
formal word for tu to make it more complicated. And yes, I know a lot of languages do this, but we're talking about French now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult. All the different verbs, feminine, masculine, plural, formal, past tense, future shit, it's just... Can we just make English the official language of the world, please? Come on, Bill Gates and the Illuminati, let's get this new world order shit going. I don't want to speak French. Oh my god, I'm sweating. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous! Okay. So yeah, a little bonus round because I did not know where to include the following things in the video since they didn't really match with any of the topics, but I wanted to have set them anyway. Cul de sac, which we even say in English and is of course a term for a road with a dead end. And I didn't realize what this actually translates into until I started learning French. Because if you take it literally, it means ass of the bag. Hey France, you have to make everything sexual? And then, and I have to sneak peek for this because otherwise I probably can't do it. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Wait, qu'est-ce que c'est que cette chose-là? Now you might think, what? Is he talking about splitting the atom? Rocket science? Some mathematical formula? No, no, that sentence, that means, what is this thing? All this for what is this thing? Hey, what is this thing? It Qu'est-ce que c'est que cette chose-là? Bruh. And then, uh, du, de, de, or bon, bien, bel, beau. When do I use what? And then last. This thing. What, what do you call this? That's right. So walkie-talkie. Now guess what it is in French. A talkie-walkie. <laughs> That's for real. Oh, French. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it if you are still here after probably 10 minutes or even more just hearing me complain about stuff. So yeah, thanks for that. You are the people that I make these videos for. And yeah, if you are one of those people that made it to the end instead of watching 3 or 4 minutes, let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. I would like to engage with my audience and get better at making these videos. So feedback is always welcome. And of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, follow me on all the socials, and see you next week. Ciao, ciao, guys. Have a great day. The sweatiest guy on YouTube.